Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I got an awesome fishing adventure to share with you today. I went out on Wednesday, the full moon was Tuesday. I couldn't get out Tuesday because I had to work. But Wednesday I got out, uh, got out on the lake about three in the morning. And uh, from three until seven in the morning, I caught absolutely nothing, not even a bite. Perfect conditions, full moon, nothing was working. All my hot spots were empty. I don't know what was going on. But once it got a little bit brighter out, um, around 7 in the morning, I got a new PB frogfish, again with the Teco Maraca frog. That's the second time in like two weeks that I've increased my PB with that frog. I swear that thing is the best frog on the market. Um, so I caught a nice, fat, almost four pound frogfish and I thought the bite was on. But it wasn't yet. It took about 45 minutes to get another fish. I ended up landing a smallmouth, as you'll see on the Whopper Plopper 110. And then I went about another 45 minutes without catching anything. But then I got into a decent pike, you know, a two and a half pound pike, 22 inches or so. And I caught that on a KVD uh, Strike King, just basic uh, square wheel crankbait. Then I went another 45 minutes with nothing. So I've been out there for hours. I got three fish, but I got a PB on my frogfish. So I was pretty, pretty stoked about that. Uh, they were real finicky. So I pulled out a lure that's supposed to be for finicky fish that I knew about, but I had never tried. And that's the Ned Rig, the uh, Z-Man makes the elastic uh, Ned Rig finesse TRD turd baits. Uh, I don't wanna go too much into this uh, as far as a review, cause I don't wanna turn this into a review video, but I wanna break down a little bit of this lure real quick. I've seen it at Gander Mountain. It was real cheap or Gander Outdoors, whatever it's called now. Uh, it was real cheap and basic. They had a nice big end cap and uh, I got me a couple of them and was going to try it out. This was a couple weeks ago. It's just a basic little jig head hook, one tenth of an ounce, very light. I went with the lightest so that it didn't sink into the weeds. It's got a bait holder um, and that's it. Oh, shoot, I almost hooked myself. But you just slide that in there uh, like you would a regular jig and it's pretty simple. They also make a weedless one. It's got your little weedless bars here. This one's a bigger hook. I went with a little heavier weight since it is supposed to be weedless. And a tip that I used when I was out there fishing with this, because it did, I caught about 100 bass on this thing. I had the best day of my life as far as numbers go. I've never caught that many fish in one, one day. Not that many bass in one day. I caught about 40 rock bass, 30 smallmouth, 30 largies. Nothing super big, but up to two and a half pounds. But a tip you can do with these is super glue that to the head. You'll get a lot more life out of these, but they already last forever. I mean, I only used two or three of these. And like I said, I caught about a hundred bass. One more thing with this uh, before we go on, two more things before we go on to the video real quick. Um, these are elastic. Like I said, Z-Man is the product, product you want to use. It's a, uh, elastic plastic is what they call it. They're real stretchy. Uh, that was a uh, California crawl. They got them in green pumpkin, all kinds of colors, but they got them in crayfish too. All of other different profile or different types of baits you can put on there. <clears throat> um, but the, the, key, the trick to this on the Z-Man and why I think it's so key and that you want to stick with the Z-Man product is because that elastic floats. This doesn't fall over like your regular soft plastic bait is going to do. It's going to stick straight up. And it's going to look like this is digging into the ground as you jig it. All your other ones are going to fall over or go on their side. This floats it straight up and down. And the fish just absolutely loved it. Uh, one more thing, because when I first got these, the one thing I didn't know, should have known because it says finesse right on the package, but you're going to want to use some type of finesse rig for the, these. I'm more of a power fisherman. Excuse me. I'm more of a power fisherman. So all my rods and reels are set up with, uh, you know, I got heavy rods set up with heavy line for big baits. Uh, so I had to go out and get a finesse rod and reel for this because my bait caster with 55, 65 pound braid just wasn't throwing that lure right. So I just got a cheap spinning reel, medium light, threw 10 pound braid on there, Power Pro braid, and tied a 10 pound fluorocarbon leader on there. I was fishing real clear water. So I put about a five or six foot uh, fluorocarbon leader on there to keep the fish from seeing the line. But go real light, get a Z-Man, uh, Ned Rig, you're going to love it. If you want more information on it, 
It says zmanfishing.com slash nedrig. You can find more information on there if you don't already know about the Ned Rig or just pull up a Ned Rig review review video. There's tons out there. But uh, I'll go ahead and get the video rolling. I hope you enjoy it. There's tons of good catches in there. Click the like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I got more videos coming. There's still quite a bit of time left before the winter. So I'll get some more videos out there. Good luck to you fishing. Keep your, keep your lines tight and be safe out there. And we'll see you next time. Absolutely nailed it. Oh, he's a big one. Damn, he's a real big one. Don't shake him. Ah, got him. Yeah. Dig. Dig. Damn, he's only he's only 18, but that's a fat one. He might be a four. I don't know. He's almost four. 3.7. Don't know if you can see it. I don't know. He's almost four. 3.7. Don't know if you can see it. That is a fat boy. Big one. Get a, get a good release on this puppy. Nice fat chunk, another one on the Maracra frog. Damn. Hey, you ready to go, huh? huh. Man, this thing was a good fight. Oh. Came back and got it. And it was a big small mouth. Get another hog. Two and a half pound pike. Twenty two incher. Twenty two. Go ahead and let that go.
pulled up in here. It's a good one. That's a good largey. That's a nice one. Oh, that's the good one. Super light line on here, so I don't want it to snap. So we'll just boat flung them. Nice little chunk. This one feels a little better. Another smolly. Schooled up. It's like the hundred catch. Good. Can't touch. Is this another small one? 
Those are small. Those look so good. Super light line, I don't want to break it. Try to bump it up a big one. Two and a half, 2.4. That's a good small mouth. 